Hey, welcome to LiveExercise.com. I'm Christina McDaniel, and this is Steve. <laughs> well, welcome, guys. <We're laughs> I cracked myself up. Hopefully, we're going to make you laugh through the whole workout today. Um, we're going to split this up. So today, uh, you got, you got a, a plyo slash cardio workout getting ready to come in about 45 minutes. So today, we're really going to concentrate on some strengthening and some core work. Um, I've gone over everything with Christina. We feel pretty confident that, that this, works really gonna, this uh, workout is really going to rock you today. Um, first part is our choreographed tempo, just like usual, and then we're going to finish with some uh, choreographed uh, core work, and we'll be moving to the floor. <laughs> and she's minus the microphone today, so you have to listen to my pretty voice. <laughs> but uh, you'll hear her kind of growling in the background. <laughs> today we're just going to use one band, one, uh, one door anchor, and we might need an ankle strap to attach the, uh, the band, because there's one point where we're going to use single length for punching. So, uh, you know, with that being said, let's go ahead and get warmed up. Um, and then we're going to, you're also going to need a mat today. You're going to need a mat because we're going to move and do some floor work. The core work today um, seems like it would be sort of easy, but it's, it's a pain in the butt. Hey, that's a little cue, a little clue for later on. Hamstring curls. All right. Getting our heart rate up. Also stretching at the same time. Super important. Multitasking. Two for one. Good. Now, I've noticed I've gone back and looked at some of the workouts, and I'm, I'm saying good, good, good a lot. <laughs> it's funny how you say stuff, you're like, man, I didn't even know I said that. So, uh, and a lot of that's just the jokes. I, I don't know what to tell you about that. You know, if you go back and look at yourself, and you're telling a joke that you actually laugh harder than everybody else, that's wrong. That's, that's not necessarily a good thing. Let's go knees up, knees up, knees, knees, good. Oh, McDaniel had a fun, what? Six, okay, five, five four, and three, two, bring him to the front now, to the front. Seven, six, now, some of this warm-up you're going to be doing in the next class, too, so you guys get used to this. One. Let's kick, let's kick. Seven, five, da-da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da. Back to knees, Even. two, and one, eight. Back out wide outside. Here we go. Seven, Good. Six, five, four, three, two, Hamstring curls. Nice. Good, good. All right, we're going to start marching in place in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march in place. Good. All right, on the right foot, right? We're going to step back for three. It's going to look like this it's going to go step, 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 knee. Now, we're using our outside knee. So if you're brand new to this move, a lot of people want to use that inside knee. Use that outside knee. Now, let's start getting a little Muay Thai clinch. It's almost the weekend, so this might be a Mai Thai clinch. Mai Thai. <laughs> hey, hush. All right. Good. Now look, she's saying, she's saying knee when she needs to really flex that stomach. By her saying knee, and by you saying knee, you're letting the diaphragm knee. come up knee. and you get a good contraction knee. in the abs. Last four, knee. last three, knee. last two, knee. knees only. Here we go. Knee. Eight, seven, Six. up, Five. up, four. up, three. up, two. to the front, to the front. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Using that stomach four. a lot. Three. Two. Kick, kick Five. again. Eight, seven, seven. uh huh. Six. Let's go kick, kick, kick. Seven, six. Five, oh, you should feel that in the hip flexors. Seven, two, Back out wide, outside. Eight. eight seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, let's just shuffle. Let's go left arm forward. Four jabs, turn it with the jack. So this is the way this go, guys. It goes jab, jab, jumping jack and turn. Jack, jack. Right hand, right now, jab. Jab straight out of the body. See the way she's doing that? Jack, Come on. Jab, jab, two times, two jab. times. Jab, jab, two jacks. Jab, 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 jab two J's. Jab, jab. Jab, jab. <laughs> That's for Brian right there. Singles, here we go. We go. One jab. One jab. One jab. One jab. One jab. Let's go four more, guys. Four more. Jab. And jab. And jab. Jog it out. Here we go. Heels up. All right. Starting to get the heart rate up a little. Just a wee bit. Now, when we jog in place, heels are going high. 
If this is as high as you can get, that's okay, but I'd like them to get to the butt. Now, heart rate not coming up fast enough? Let's go arms up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. There's a storm of brewing and shuffle it out. Good job. By now, your legs may start to feel heavy. Man, that's because those capillary beds haven't opened up yet. They're just now starting to. Getting those areas of your muscle that have been sleeping for eight hours finally opened up, getting us some oxygen. So sometimes the warm up, especially in the morning, it's just, just not a good feeling. But once everything starts opening up, you guys get that feeling like I'm ready to exercise, ready to work out. That's a good feeling. But fight through this warm up. Sometimes you're gonna feel heavy and lazy right off the get go. All right, let's go side to side. Here we go. <sighs> gonna bring that heart rate back down so we can stretch just a little bit. Good. Let's leave those legs out wide, hands side to side. Now plant those feet. Here we go. Now look, hips stay still. We're just trying to move our torso side to side. What's gonna happen pretty soon, the shoulders, even just from this, shoulders are gonna start to burn a little bit. Last eight and seven. Now we're reaching forward and back as much as possible. Where are we at, four? Four. Good, three, two. All right, let's move our feet forward, squatting with um, arm circles. Down, circle, down, circle. Six and five and four. So we're stretching our chest and we're still warming up our shoulders too. One more, one more down. Let's reverse our arms, continue. Eight and over, seven, back and over, six. Good, Christina, good guys at home. This is still bringing up the heart rate. All my weight's flat on my heels. I think, what, two more maybe? All right, facing in, keep those arms up. All right, we're gonna come across, stretch the obliques, quadratus lumborum, good. We're still flexible. I'm a little too Yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, turn this hand over and look to the ceiling. Now we're getting a more stretch on the inside. Not holding these long enough to Call it a, you know, real long static stretch, but 20 to 30 seconds, back up we go. Good. Now understand, other side. When you're stretching, that's good for the muscle, but the muscle's also starving for air. Now that we've warmed it up, it's requiring oxygen. It's requiring blood flow. When you're stretching a muscle, it becomes sort of ischemic there for a second. Turn this around. So you don't want to overstretch towards the beginning but in a way we're kind of wringing out the blood so that when we relax, oh, we're getting all that infusion of nutrients and oxygen to the system. Legs wide, I'm gonna step right behind you, arms out. Let's come forward with a flat back, left hand down, right hand up, and reaching towards the sky. Now I'm feeling this on my left inner thigh and the outside part of my right leg and through my torso. I want to make sure my legs are staying straight. I'm pushing down as much as I'm reaching up. Let's reverse it. Here. Warming up before a workout like this, super important. One, because we're using resistance and the movements are relatively ballistic. Back to the center. Now watch what I do. I crawl out maybe about eight inches. I go up on my tippy toes. I'm going to come down, touch my forehead to the ground, and I push back. Good, and down, and back. Three more, three. Trying to get some, some weight through that upper extremity. Two, so that it calls for oxygen as well. One more, and push back. Pull it in, and roll it up. Nice, let's both go this way. Now I'm getting a right calf stretch. Keep this leg fairly straight. Now one thing that's super important, if I'm this way, I'm not stretching my calf. I need to keep my foot straight. My hips go forward, my right leg is locked. Easy hip flexor stretch to get to from this position. I go up on my toe, I get a posterior pelvic tilt. Now I've already lengthened a lot of it, but as I sink down, that hip wants to open up even more and I can lean back. 
Yeah, mine was, mine was doing it too. Step back on the right, keep the left straight, bottom out. And look, my hips are towards you. I want to close my hips down and come straight forward. Keep that back fairly straight. Don't push on this knee. If anything, hold yourself over here. This leg right now is non-weight bearing. Now let's come all the way down and roll it up. Back into our triangle stance. Let's go calf stretch other side. Left calf stretch, legs staying straight, hips forward. Want to get a pull. Understand the calf attaches to the soleus, attaches to the Achilles tendon around the bottom of the calcaneus. So if this gets tight, so does that plantar fascia. And a lot of times when you wake up in the morning and your heels feel real achy for about the first five, 10 steps, that means your plantar fascia is irritated and you need to be stretching your calves and not like this, nice static hold. Up on the toe, pelvis under, down we go, lean back. And like she and I, you might be getting the shakes too, that's okay. A Little bit of tetanus never hurt anybody. <laughs> they make shots for that. All right, you waking up with me guys? Come on back, hamstring stretch, and we gotta get this thing started. Today we're gonna have about 20, 25 minutes of some serious cardio, then we're gonna break it down, do a little more core work. Now the core work sounded Canadian for a second, didn't I? Core, eh, what do you think, hoser? All right, roll it up. The core work is still cardio. We're gonna be burning fat for 45 full minutes. 45 full minutes of burning fat. However, we're gonna be able to bring your heart rate back down to something a little bit more mortal. All right, let's shuffle it out, shuffle it out. First move, guys, first move, backhand. And I'm gonna show you on Christina, which means Christina's gonna show you on Christina, and I'll point it out. We're gonna plant our feet. I want you to come around with a good cross. Now look at her hip, her hip is turning. If she does that, she's getting a lot more weight behind that punch. A lot more weight, good. Cross, cross. Now we wanna keep this slow because we have a combination for you. It's gonna be cross, so she's using her entire body. Good, look at the way her foot is opened up. Her foot isn't sideways, it's pointed, it's pointed forward. That means when she turns her hip, there's nothing resisting that, that force. She can put it all right into the punch. But as she comes back, now we're gonna go knee. So cross, knee, knee. cross. Knee. Now when we do this front knee, knee it's not merely using hip flexor. I want her using obliques. I want her using this hip flexor. Everything on this side. Squeeze. Cross. Knee. Cross. Knee. Cross. So that's our first move. You guys got that at home? Look at her elbows. Elbows are nice and tight. Her arm comes straight out of her body and straight back to her cheeks. Cover up. Four more, please. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Now we already stretched our hamstrings really, really well. However, when we go into kicking, there's a lot more force. So let's start kicking kind of low. Kick and again. Kick and again. Now look, we're both aiming our knee at our target. Let's say we're going to go about chest high. We aim our knee kind of diagonal. First thing we do is the leg comes in, then you extend it to a kick. All right. And again, just like the cross, we're going to add that front knee. Kick, shh, knee. kick, knee. shh, knee. kick, knee. shh. Don't get lazy with knee. those kicks. It comes knee. in, knee. it comes in and out and in. Knee. Eight, knee. Shh. seven. Knee. Again, guys, knee. we're working those obliques. Knee. Four, knee. Shh. three, knee. Shh. two, knee. Shh. one. Knee. Okay, I think, I think we need to put it together. Now, the reason we shuffle in between I'm starting to get my heart rate up. I don't want to lose the momentum I'm gaining. If I just stop in between these choreographed moves, I'm sort of shooting myself in the foot. So we want an apex. We want that heart rate to come up. Then we start core, it comes back down. We're already burning fat. All right, what I want is to cross knee for eight, kick knee for eight, five, six, plant and fight. Cross, knee. seven, knee. six, knee. five, Four, knee. three, knee. two, knee. kick and knee. Eight, knee. seven, knee. six, knee. five, knee. four, knee. three, knee. two, knee. one. Knee. All right, now heart rate's gonna come up. Next move, it's a combination, guys. Squat 
and kick, and then a cross and a cross. A squat and kick, cross, cross. Now I really want those hips to move right here, here. Squat and kick, cross, cross. Squat and kick, cross, cross. Squat and kick, cover up that pretty face. Squat and kick, four more. Now if you're doing this with us at home, as soon as you change levels, you notice your heart rate come up by leaps and bounds. Two, two, kick. One, kick. From the top, eight, seven, six. From the very top, cross and knee. Five, six, seven, cross. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. Kick and knee. Kick. Knee. Kick. Knee. Kick. Knee. Squat, kick, cross, cross. Squat and kick. <laughs> Squat and kick. <laughs> Two more times, guys. <laughs> One more time. Cross. Shovel it out. All right, so we have those three moves. We have those. We have a cross and a knee, a kick and a knee, a squat, kick, and a cross, and a cross. Now, heart rate's gonna go crazy. Let's watch this. This is not changing stance. This is just some quick footwork. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Now, scissor and cross. Scissor, uh, scissor, uh, scissor, uh, scissor. Last eight. Seven. Cross. Look at those hips, guys. Cross. Five. Cross. Four. Cross. Now what I'm doing Cross. would just be a nice mod. A bounce, bounce, relax. Cross. All right. Let's put it all together. We have four moves. Continuing to build this. Then we'll try the other side. We'll do four of each. Four of each, yeah. Four of each. So when we're practicing, we'll do eight. When we put it into choreography all together, we decrease to four. Five, six. Cross and knee. One. Knee. Two. Knee. Three. Knee. Punch four. Knee. Use your body. Oh, yeah, you're knee. right. Two. Knee. Three. Knee. Squat, kick, cross, cross, squat, kick. Knee. More body, guys. More body. Knee. Squat, kick. Cross. Scissors and cross. Are you ready? Cross. I'm ready. Step. Step. Boom. Step, step. Cross. Step, step. Let's do four more of these because it's feeling good. Cross. Scissor. Cross. Three. Cross. Two. Cross. One. I think I got an extra one in there. Woo. Lucky me. All right, guys, last move. Last move. Then we'll go back. We'll do the same thing. We're going to build it on the other side. So we'll start with eight. Then when we add it together, it's all in fours. Last one. This is a combination. We're going to go criss, cross, kick. <sighs> Criss, cross, cross. Criss, cross, kick. Now, what's the difference? Keep going, keep going. What's the difference between criss, cross, and scissor? Look at her whole body. Her whole body faces me. Bah! Just like that, right there. Bah! Okay, so you're gonna turn your whole body. Criss, cross, kick. Criss, cross, cross. Criss, cross, kick. You say. Criss, cross, cross. <laughs> Criss, cross, kick. Last time, Chris, cross, kick. Chris, cross, All right, four of each. And we're done with that side. By now, if you have a heart rate monitor, I want it to be reading in the 150s if you're about my age. I'm about 22. <laughs> no. Guys, 60 or 70% of your maximum heart rate. 220 minus your age times 0.6 times 0.7. Now, your physiological age, not whatever age you are, if I'm, let's just say I'm 40, there's no, I'm not even close, but if I was, I would take 220 minus that, 180, and I'd work out at about 75% of 180. If I was in a 40-year-old body, I like to think that I'm 35 or 30, so I'm gonna use 30, because that's the shape I wanna be in, okay? All right. Hey, like that's the, he full of some crapola. Yeah. All right, thanks for the peanut gallery. Y'all hush, we're taping the show. All right, guys, we're going four each, four each. Cross and knee, five, six, cross and knee. Four, knee. three, knee. two, knee. come on, come on, kick. Four, knee. three, 
Knee. Knee. Two. Knee. Squat kick. Cross, cross. Squat and kick. Cross. Three more times. Cross, cross. Hands stay high. Cross. One more time. Cross. Squat and now scissor. Cross. Scissor, cross. Scissor. Cross. Scissor. Cross. Scissor. Cross. Scissor. Criss cross. Criss cross. Knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criss cross. Criss cross. Criss cross. Two more. Criss cross. Criss cross. cross. Last time. Criss cross. All the way from the top. Here we go. Cross. Knee. Cross. Knee. Cross. Knee. Kick knee. Kick knee. Kick. Kick you? Yeah, kick me. <laughs> no, kick knee. knee. Squat kick. Squat. Squat and kick. Cross. Three more times. Two more times. Cross, cross. Last one. Scissor. Cross. Scissor cross. Scissor. Cross. Scissor. Cross. Scissor. Cross. Criss cross. Kick. Criss cross. Kick. Criss cross. Cross. Criss cross. Kick. Criss cross. Cross. Criss cross. Kick. Criss cross. Cross. Criss cross. Kick. Jack it out, y'all. Jack it out. Eight. Eight. Side to side. All right. While that heart rate's up, check your heart rate monitor. While it's up, we're going to go ahead and switch to the other side. Now we're burning some fat. Woo. This feeling, guys, this breathlessness, this kind of achiness, guys, that's the feeling of burning fat. I want you to make sure you start thinking in terms of, wow, this actually feels good. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Cross, knee, cross. Now look at the way we're both rotating back into that knee. Four, knee. cross, knee. cross, two more. Knee. One more, one more, one more, cross. Knee. Okay, first move, cross, knee. Second move, second move, back leg. Kick using abs, knee, kick. Now, you can still, Rotate into that knee. Eight. Knee. Seven. Knee. Hands are high. See her hands? See my finger? See my thumb? See my... Four. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. One. Knee. Put those two together. Four each. four each. Cross knee for four. Kick knee for four. In five. Six. Five. Cross knee. Four. Knee. Three. Two, turn those hips, that's good. Kick, 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 kick. Kick. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. Next one goes like this. It goes squat, kick, cross. Seven more. Squat, kick. Cross, cross. Six, kick. Cross, cross. Five, kick. Cross, cross. Four, come on, use your body. Boom, boom. Down, kick. Cross, Three more. Cross. Three more times. Cross, cross. Two more times. Cross, Big kick. Cross. One more time. Cross, From the top. Cross. Ready? Woo. Five, six, four each. Go. Cross and. Knee. Cross and. Knee. Cross and. Knee. Kick and knee. Four. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. Squat. Kick. Cross. Cross. Squat. Kick. Cross. <laughs> squat. Kick. Cross, cross. Squat. Kick. Cross, cross. Squat. Woo. Kick. Cross, cross. Now, the way I feel right now, if I was in a fight, I'd be like, take my purse. I don't care. Is no. Gucci? Oh, it, yeah, that could be a Hermes. And they, Steve knows what a Hermes is? Yeah, Jimmy Choo. I know you, baby. I'm just kidding. I, I got a home shopping network, I go crazy. All right, guys. <laughs> Just roll back the tape. We'll take two on that section. Next one, next one's going to be scissor cross. Five, six, five, six, seven. Scissor, scissor. Cross. 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 Quick, hit, quick. Cross. Quick in the hip. Cross. Let's go. Three more. Cross. Three. Cross. Two. One. So I want that quick, quick hip turn. 
couple things that changes how hard your hand lands. The heaviness, the force, the, the foot pounds, but the speed, guys, the speed. If I'm whipping, if I'm whipping a rock at you and I lob it, it's not going to hurt near as bad as if I throw a rock and I whiz it. So this is a rock. This is your weapon. you got to whip it. And whip it good. We just fell into that one. You know you said it too. Five from the top. Six for each. Cross and knee. Four. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. Good. Kick, 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 kick. Knee. Three. Knee. Two. Knee. Squat, kick, cross, cross. Squat and kick. <laughs> Squat and kick. <laughs> Squat and kick. <laughs> Squat and kick. Scissor, scissor, cross. Scissor, scissor. Scissor, scissor. Scissor, scissor. Scissor, scissor. All right. Now, on that fast cross, get used to turning your hips. It's not just boom, boom, boom. It's boom, boom. Okay? All right. Last move, guys. Your turn to scare me. Ah! Here. All right. <laughs> kick. Chris, cross, cross. Chris, cross, kick, Chris, cross, pick it up, Chris, cross, kick, Chris, cross, kick, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, kick, Chris, cross, four more, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, two more, Chris, cross, Chris, cross, last time, Chris, Chris, cross. cross. All right, keep moving, guys. Keep moving. I got a flat tire. Oh, look at that. You know, Could that, be an shoe? that is an untied shoe right there. It takes a special teacher to know how to tie a knot so that it comes loose every seven minutes. Right there. All right, guys, four each. Four each. That makes you part of the four each club. Ha! Hi, hi, hi. Five, six, cross and knee. Four! Knee! Three! Two, knee. squat, are oh, you kick, 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 knee. kick, knee. kick, knee. squat, kick, cross, cross, squat, and kick, and cross, cross. squat, and kick, and cross, cross. two more, guys, two more, cross, cross. one more time, cross, scissor, 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 cross. boom, scissor, scissor, boom, scissor, scissor, cross. scissor, scissor, cross. Chris, cross, and Woo. Chris, cross. Chris, cross. Kick. And cross. two more. Chris, cross. And Chris. Cross, cross, cross. Chris, cross. Kick, kick. Chris, cross, cross. All right. Woo. Good job. I think we need to get some bands. Now, like I promised, you're almost done with your cardio portion. Bands aren't going to take long today. Come on over. You're gonna need two handles. Thank you. You're gonna need one ankle strap. Not for your ankle though, for the door, for the door anchor. Now, as little as she is, I'm gonna make her go red, but I'm gonna give her some backup. Green, so get a red and green, about her size. If you're about my size, I'm suggesting red or green. Guys, I can always move away from the door to make it a little tougher. All right, ankle strap, door anchor. Now, for the, for the boxing portion, all we're gonna need is our red band, these tools, shoulder width height. All right, punching height. So I'm punching from my shoulder. I want that about shoulder height. Close that door good. Secure it with a lock. If you're using a door that can't lock, guys, kill something small and put it on the other side so that nobody comes in. They see a dead raccoon or something on the other side. Ain't nobody going in that room. But uh, make sure that door is secure, okay? We don't want anybody coming in. Put it on the hinge side too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that door opens, guys, you can squeak it through that side over there. That way, even if it opens, you're going to be secure. And security is what it's all about. We're going to go single length. Oop, forgot my handles. All right. Now, we only need one handle for right now. Okay. 
Let's try to do four of each for time's sake because I want to get that core. I got to get that core. Got to, got to. So we're starting right-handed. Now look what she did. She moved over to her left. I move over to my left. Reason being, we want to get that band away from us. Away from us. All right. So as I push, as I push, uh, that band's not going to cover up on me. Now, if you guys don't have enough room, listen, there's nothing wrong with, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do this. I'm going to go through the neoprene side of the door anchor and I'm going to double up right here. Okay. I can stand back here. I don't need that extra four or five feet. You stay there, Christina. Come towards me a little bit. Okay, so we're both here. All right, I'm using uh, one band at, at a doubled up. She's using single. I like the single because it gives you more travel. I'm not going to be able to extend as much, but I'm getting killer workout. Five, six, cross and knee. Four, three, two, kick and knee. Kick, kick, hold that band. Squat, kick, cross, cross, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick, scissor, 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 uh, scissor, scissor, uh, scissor, scissor, uh, scissor, scissor, criss, cross, kick, criss, cross, criss, cross, kick, criss, cross, kick, one more, Chris, cross, kick. Let's switch it up. We might have time for twice. Heart rate now. You know, interesting guys. Check your heart rate when you're using the bands versus without. Our tempo was really close to the same. So if your heart rate's elevated, God bless the bands. Five, six, cross and knee. Four, three. Two, one, kick, 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 squat, kick, cross, cross, squat, kick, squat, show me, good crosses, Christina, good crosses, squat, kick, scissor, cross, scissor, 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 now, Chris, cross, kick, Chris cross, Chris cross, come on girl, Chris cross, Chris cross, Chris cross, Chris cross, Chris cross. All right, if we have time, we'll go back and replay do overs. But I want to move on to the core. I'd like you to get about 10 minutes of core before we finish up. We're still going to be burning fat throughout the core workout. Let's take our bands, unlock your doors, shift them to the top now. Shift them up here. Now, we don't need that ankle strap anymore because we're just going to go through the neoprene side of the door anchor. You're going to want two handles. Incidentally, Steve, what is my core? What is my core? Core is relatively a slow twitch group of muscles that posturally engages throughout the day. It's very slow to fatigue. In other words, I should be able to stand up for days at a time. Look at a cow. You guys ever gone cow tipping? Fun, fun. I'll teach you that in the next one. But cows, they actually sleep standing up, a lot of them, most of them, most of the healthy ones. All right, that's because they have postural muscles that just never fatigue. Slow twitch, very aerobic. They guard our spine. They're what keeps us erect and safe. If somebody comes up behind me and jars me, if I have a strong core, which I'm getting to what the core is, if I have a strong core, I'm gonna be relatively unscathed. People with a weak core, it doesn't take much. Sometimes just picking a spoon up off the ground or, or a quick stop in a car or a long car ride with poor posture and my core is all maladaptive and just, just out of whack, okay, discombobulated. All right, so my core, let's call my core Anything from this nuchal line here all the way down to the top of my hamstrings. So would my groin be, yeah, my groin. My butt is my, yeah, your butt. Low back, obliques, uh, transverse abdominals more than even the rectus. The transverse abdominals are the ones that hold me in tight. My rectus are just pretty and they help me flex. Okay, but the ones that help me stay upright, hip flexors, transverse abdominals, quadratus lumborum, low back, rhomboids. All right, some of the mid to lower traps. This is core. 
that's what you're about to work. We're going to primarily focus on abs and glutes, all right? First one, first one. Now, if this is too long, guys, what I suggest is just circle this up, okay, for the first one. Arms are going to come down, knee is going to come up, here and the other side, here. Now, you can pull in with your shoulders, but I'm not just moving my shoulders. I'm moving my whole core, core. You ready, McDaniel? All right, 25, here we go. One, two, I'm pushing three down. Four, five, six, seven. Does that look familiar? Like you're pulling somebody into your knee? Good, 11, 12, 13, 14. You can pull in 15 this way. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Good. Now, if you're feeling that at all, it should be engaged here. All right. Next one. Next one. Let's get a mat for you. Double, triple, quadruple it up. I don't care. Something you can kneel on. Now, if you guys were like me, you either were on the playground doing the beating <laughs> or you were on the playground getting beat. Either way, you were on the playground. Now we're gonna come across with straight arms here. Now let's, I'll tell you what, let's go underneath. Here, 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 oblique, punch, punch. Now I'm not learning how to strike here, I'm working my obliques. Good, let's go 50. One, two, three. Steve, I'm not getting enough resistance, what do I do? You come on out here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Try to keep those bands off you. You feeling it, Christina? I'm feeling it. Good, last 20. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Shoulders and arms, abs all working together. Where are we at? Seven, six. Good job, guys. Good job. So there's our little playground punches. All right. Now, now, I want to go ahead and move my bands to the bottom. Move my bands to the bottom. We're getting to do some plank work now. Oh, I guess I'll have to lock that. Plank work. Now, I need good push-up position. All right, use something for your knuckles. Good push-up position. Now, if you're hardcore, you're gonna give me a push-up and an elbow. A push-up and an elbow. Christina, let's alternate sides, okay? One, now Christina's not gonna do the push-up. She's gonna stay in plank. She's gonna show you the mod of just elbow here, elbow here. I'm gonna do my best to get push-ups. Here we go, strike, push-ups. Strike, push up, 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 strike. Let's all join Christina. Let's join Christina for 10, no push ups. Strike, and two, nine, that's it, eight, count me out, Seven. pull back, guys, Six. get that butt down. Five. Whoo! And One. good job. All right, hopefully you engaged your core, felt that in your rhomboids and back. Do this for me. On your knees, roll your shoulders back. Can you feel those muscles wanting to pull you into good alignment? A gentle S curve through your spine, keeping your chin back. That rocks, guys, that's good posture. All right, Christina, come find me. You can use a mat to sit on if you want, guys. All right. Face me. This is a booger. A lot of ways to cheat. Legs out wide. Now, if you get back here like you're on your lazy boy, you can pick that leg up pretty easy. But see the way Christina is? Her hands are right here. She's sitting up nice and straight. Let's start with our leg towards the wall. 10, 9, 8. Do not lean back if you can. Keep your elbows straight. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, circles. 10, 9, 
eight, sit up straight. Now look, if I have to, I can lean back a little bit, but I prefer Two, 10 more lifts. Here we go. 10, nine. Can you guys feel that there? Seven, Stay up tall. Stay up tall. Five, four, three, two, Yikes. Seven. Excellent job. Other side. Here we go. 10, nine. See how I'm willing to go back for you. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, circles. Now listen, if you start to fail, just lean back a little. You hardcore people, one hand in front, lift up, and let's get 10. One, two, three. Oh, everything in there, right? Can you feel that, guys? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Steve, why do I feel it in my quad? Guys, that was your hip flexor and your rectus femoris aiding hip flexion. It had to aid because your hip flexors are so daggum fatigued, you had to get substitution from your quadricep. All right, so moving on. Did you guys feel that? We'll stretch that out in a second. Now, here's our favorite. All right? In order to get a good side kick with some flexibility, we want to be in side lying. Bend this bottom leg. And I think it's better demonstrated if Christina does the exercise and I teach. Because <laughs> this one hurts like crazy. Leg is bent. All right? Leg is cocked in. She's going to come and kick. Now look what else she's doing. Check that out, Rob. She's coming up. See the way she's lifting off that bottom leg? Good, 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 good. So your opponent trying to get you. He's trying to come in. And you're going to shove your foot right in their cheek. Good, good, good. Ten. Nine. Now I promise you, her pushing off is working all kinds of gluteal muscles. Four, three, two, and she only wishes she was done. Next one. Same thing. Leg straight, side plank on elbow. Cock that leg. Give me ten. Ten. Nine. Look, that arm's ready to catch her. Go ahead and use the arm for just a second. See how she uses the arm if she needs it? Three, two, one. Now, Christina, where are you feeling it at? I am feeling it in my core, and I'm also feeling it all through my, where I'm holding myself. Down. So, obliques on the underside, this leg pushing up, and this leg on the bottom pushing down. Last one, then we'll get the other side. Complete side plank, guys. Complete side plank up on the arm. Good. Look at a straight line. Use the arm if you need to. Kick it. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just keep kicking. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent job. Let's spin it over to the other side. Let's go to the other side. Now, if you're only doing one side like me, you're going to have one butt cheek that's really tight and one that's not. So make sure you go back and do the other side eventually. Okay, if you need, she's saying if you need more cushioning or if you're sliding on your floor, use more of the mat, guys. Now look, leg is bent. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Now look, I'm almost turning over to my stomach because I want to use more bottom. Good. Four, three, two, one. Side plank. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. You did all those? Crazy girl four, three, two, one. Last one, guys. Last one. Man, you ready? Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, gum it. Ooh, hot bottom. All right. Now listen, honestly, what I want you guys to do, I, I really mean this. If I had time, I'd do it with you, but I don't. Go back, do the band again, shoulder height. Four of each of the choreographed stuff. Come back and do this core exercise one more time. Go back. That was only about 15 minutes ago. I want you to get the next 15 minutes like that. If you don't have time, stay and stretch with us. We'll stretch you out of this. And then we're going to start doing our chisel cardio right next. Okay. Hip flexor and quad, best stretch this way. That's a quad stretch. What she's got going on is quad and hip flexor. So we're opening up our hip. The flatter that angle, the more hip flexor we get. Steve, we've been done exercising. Why are you out of breath, man? I must be somewhat asthmatic. I got diabetes. 
<laughs> oh man. Those pikes are the, in the middle of those pikes is weird, but I got amnesia and deja vu all at the same time. It was weird, really weird. <laughs> Other side. Now, it wouldn't be uncommon right now for you to catch a little bit of a butt cramp. I'm saying that because I caught a little bit of a butt cramp. So, and I don't want to think that I'm different. So we're going to have to stretch out your glute heels. Oh, did you guys have a good workout? If you didn't, if you didn't, guys, rewind. Look at some of the choreography. See what you can change. Use a heart rate monitor, please. All right, and uh, it's dawning on me now that we didn't stop and get water at all. But uh, we should have stopped and got water at some point. You guys feel free. Any of these workouts, bring this around. Now you're going to stretch those glutes. Feel that? Sit up straight. It's when you sit up straight that you get the full potential of gluteal bliss. <laughs> That's all kinds of not right. Oh, pull that in, sit up straight. All right, if these exercises ever feel so awkward that you feel like you're gonna injure yourself, modify, modify, modify the exercise. This side over here, pull in, sit up nice and straight. That was good. That was good. I'm glad we brought it down at the end getting core. I think we need to get more core. You can't be a good fighter and you really can't have a, a physically fit physique, say that fast, without hitting your core. You've got to be hitting your core. All right, come across. You guys check out Annie's Pilates class and even chiseled. I saw them using three, well, not Ashanti. He could have, he could have used four. I know he could have, but I saw Blake using three bands Guys, today doing squats. That means his quads can handle that. All right, but what if your core is weak? Just because your quads can, can squat two, three, four hundred pounds doesn't mean that when you pile all that weight, other side, when you pile all that weight on top of your shoulders, that doesn't mean that your spine can handle that weight. You got to put the weight on the soft tissue, on the muscles, on the skeletal muscle where it belongs. If you're relying on your joints to handle all that extra punishment, it's just not going to happen. All right, so when we're fighting, when we're exercising, all those things, use those accessory muscles, learn how to work your core properly. All right, grab a hamstring, rock yourself up. Last stretch and we're out of here. Let's come straight in, elbows down. All right, we're going to leave you guys in this position. Go ahead, walk on out. Stay here for another 20, 30 seconds, guys. Thanks for tuning in to liveexercise.com. We have a lot of fun here, guys, but these are the kind of things that seriously will change your body. So have fun doing it, but take this stuff serious and couple it with a good diet. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week.